Okay guys, so for today's video, I will be uh, sharing with you guys the first puppy owner mistakes na feeling ko very very important when you get a new puppy or when you get a new chow chow. So if you wanna know more, please keep on watching. Welcome, 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 welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, please do not forget to like and subscribe. Okay, so bago muna tayo mag-start sa aking vlog for today, let's have our comment of the week. Okay, so um, the comment of the week is from Diane Grace Duenas. Um, she says, Hello, Mommy Ne. I'm getting a cha-cha next week na po and, I'm su and I super need your tips and advice on how to make my baby cha chow healthy and also I need to know po if what's the best vitamins and supplements for my puppy chow. Sana pansinin niyo po ako. Okay, so for obvious reasons, um, hindi natin pag-uusapan masyado yung talagang essential needs ng cha chow kasi mayroon na po akong vlog about that. So I'll link that below. However, um, since marami akong nakikita ang comments about puppies, how to really raise a good puppy, how to, yun nga, how to make them more healthier. Um, I just want to create this vlog para talagang ma-prevent natin yung mga unnecessary behaviors na pwedeng uh, kalakhan ng inyong uh, chow chow. So, without further ado, let's get started. Okay, number one. Over feeding. Okay? So, lagi tinatanong sa akin how many times po ba uh, pinapakain ang isang chow chow puppy. Um, again, ulitin ko po, it is ideal that you feed them three times a day one cup. If you're the owner na feeling mo medyo underweight yung dog mo or hindi yung feel mo, sinasabi ng doctor mo na underweight ang iyong dog, um, yes, you could give snacks during training times, but you have to make sure po na at least it is 2 hours or 3 hours their meal time. So, kung pinapakain mo yung aso mo ng 6 o'clock or 7 o'clock, make sure that you give them a treat at what? In between those times. Tapos, use it during your training or yung when you play. Okay? So, that's number one. Ang problema ng iba is pakain sila ng pakain ng snack. Tapos, nalulungkot sila pag hindi kinakain yung proper meal nila. So, overfeeding is definitely a no -no. Number two, ito, very important to. At an early stage of a chow chow, marami akong nakikita for parents that they give so much freedom to their puppies. And when I say freedom, um, ito lang naman yung tanong dyan, guys. Would you ever leave uh, a toddler alone? Iiwan mo ba ang isang bata na mag-isa? Hindi, diba? So, parang puppy lang din po yan. And I'm not saying na kailangan mo siyang titigan or talagang tutukan 24-7. That's why um, I've been always uh, an advocate of great training. Meron na po akong um, vlog about this. Uh, I'll link it below as well. So, great training means um, you have to, to give your dog a safe space. And whenever you're doing something, whenever you're not around, um, do not give them so much freedom na iwan mo lang talaga siya that they can do anything with your furniture, with, you know, your slippers and everything. So, what do you do? You crate them. Hindi po parusa ang crate. It's just basically giving them their limitations. Um, however, hindi naman dapat 24-7. So, lang din nandoon. But, yun, giving them too much freedom can lead to very unnecessary behavior. So, you better check that out. Okay, guys, number three, off-leash. So, basically, dropping your leash during park visits. Yung parang you let them, you let them mingle on their own. Yung mga first puppy mistakes na napapansin ko during, like, walks. Like, parket maliit pa yung dog nila. Tapos, cute na cute naman sila. Sumusunod sa kanila yung aso nila. Feeling nila parang, wow, ang talino ng dog ko. Super well trained na siya and all. Um, it does not follow. Usually, when a puppy is taken out from their mothers, and then you take care of them, um, hindi pa sila fully secured. And what 
the tendency is they will always follow you. Kasi takot pa sila, di ba nila alam ang outside world and all. So, talagang kahit anong mangyari, pag maglalakad ka, susundan ka yan, guys. Automatic yun. So, um, eventually, mafi-figure out nila na, ah, okay, he has, she or he has no control over me. So, I'd be doing anything I want. So, <laughs> leash training is very, very important, especially when you're introducing your puppy to a pack of calm dogs. Usually, kasi ang puppy is very, very excited po yan. So, yun, um, in our last vlog, <laughs> in our last vlog last week, we've already talked about how to socialize, how to properly socialize your chow chow. So, there, you better check that out para makita nyo kung ano ba yung proper way how to socialize your dog. Okay, number four. Walking your puppy too early. Okay, so, ang cute naman talaga na nakikita mo yung chow-chow na ganyan ko na ito siya mag-walk-walk na siya agad yung street. I know, guys. I know, I know. I know, paulit-ulit ako, exercise your dog every day. Sabi yung mami, kila ay exercise. So, kahit hindi pa in the right timing, iwo-walk na ang kanilang chow-chow para hindi maging aggressive. There's such a thing as too early. Okay? That's, that's such a thing. So, kailan po ba yung right time for you to walk your dogs or your chow-chow? So, it's usually after they finish their um, vaccinations, yung kailangan na vaccinations ng isang uh, puppy. So, pero hindi yun agad-agad. Ah. Like, for example, ngayon yung turok niya, oh, tabi nila, tapos naman na. Let's, ano na, let's go to the park and dress up our chow chow. Hindi po. Um, it is um, two weeks after your last vaccination. So, after that, um, dun mo palang pwede ipamingil at um, start i-walk ang inyong dog. Number five, not learning your chow chow or your dog's love language. So, parang tao rin po, iba-iba po ang love language ng mga aso natin. Most of the time, ang gusto talaga ng chow chow, since they're very loyal, ang usually love language ng chow chow is affection talaga, yung time and effort that you spend time with them. So, make sure that you have to learn this as a puppy owner. Kilalanin mo yung aso mo kasi hindi lahat pare-parehan. Ever nakiliti mo yung love language na yun or nahanap mo yun, I am definitely sure that you're gonna have a common obedient chow. Number six. Okay, hindi masyadong pinag-uusapan to sa mga chow chow channels. Pero, I'd like to share this, guys. Yung laughing on what we think is cute. Okay? Um, ano ba yun? So, di ba pag puppy, super cute nga talaga. Mukha silang little lad. Mukha silang, mukha silang cubs. Mukha silang lion. Isa lang yun. Mukha silang cubs. Mukha silang bears. So, ang cute talaga nila. Lahat na gagawa nila, effortlessly ang cute. So, when I, when I say laughing about it, like for example, may plastic, tas binabarka nila. O kaya, um, they're barking on walls. Or for example, they're eating weird stuff and then you're just laughing about it. Um, again, they, ano, they always get or they always sense you through your energy. When they feel like you feel happy about a bad behavior, like when they're biting something na ang cute-cute, ang lit-lit, pero kumakagat ng malaking sofa or all, they feel like gusto mo yon. Ang tendency doon is... Yon, may isip nila na, oh, okay, natatawa siya, good vibe. So, yeah, I'm gonna continue doing this. So, gets? So, guys, let's not, let's prevent from doing it. Alam ko nakakatawa, pupunta lang kayo sa gilid, tapos tumawa kayo. Pero, aside from that, you have to be firm and say no. And, yon, i-identify mo kung bakit siya nagbabark. Most of the time, talaga, may, may rason naman yan, guys. Okay? So, huwag natin sila pagtawanan mo siya. Okay? Number seven. Ito nakikita ko to sa maraming TikTok videos and FB pages. Lecturing your dog. Okay. <laughs> Guys naman. Okay. Tigilan na po natin ang pagpag-lecture na naman po ng ating mga ash. Ay, grabe naman talaga. Lahat ng galit. Um, lahat ng galit sa eleksyon na to. <laughs> sa lahat ng 
galit sa mundo eh talaga na mabinuhos sa kanilang puppies na binibili mo ito, mahal mo ng pagkain mo, um, hindi ka marunong tumuon ng utang na loob. Guys, <laughs> okay, the only thing that makes sense in a dog are commands. Okay, the rest of the words that you're saying, they do not understand that po. What they Kaya, kaya feeling mo, so most of the time, yung mga tuso parang, oh, sad. And parang, no, pahabang nilelecturean mo siya. Ang nagigets niya doon, again, is yung energy na binibigay mo sa kanila. Yung anger, yung frustration, yung anxiety. So, they feed the energy. Okay po. So, if I were you guys, just stick with your commands. One word is enough. More than three words is nothing. Wala masyadong effects sa kanila yan. At most of all, wag po tayong mamamalo. May mga pachinelas pa yung iba. So, let's not do these things. Guys, let's um, be more objective in terms of raising our puppies. Uh, I have also training tips or mga commands that you should be teaching your puppy at a very young age. So, I'll link that below as well. Okay, number eight. Substituting yung dental sticks to actual brushing their teeth. So, yun ko to guys, na syempre pag nangingipin talaga yung chacho natin, yung mga puppies natin, sobrang masakit, masakit, masakit siyang toothbrushan. So, ang ginagawa ng mga tao, sige, huwag ka nalang mag-toothbrush this week, dental sticks na lang. Okay, dental sticks is supplementary and parang partly of their teeth lang po yung nalilinis doon. So guys, huwag natin kakaligtaan yun kasi talagang mahirap po pag namuahan ng mga cavities yan, or ano, usually po talaga inooperahan po yan for real. Eventually, when they grow old and you do not take care of their dental um, hygiene, um, usually kapag ano, mag-infect mag and lalala po yan. So yes, please do not only depend your dental hygiene or dental health of your chow chow sa dental sticks. Number nine, taking your puppy soon to be groomed. Um, I'd like to emphasize na yung puppy stages, dyan talaga nabubuo or nag-grow yung healthy coat and hair ng ating mga chow-chow. So, ako personally, ang trainer ko, sinabi sa akin, you can um, fully groom your chow. Yung talagang cut lang, parang trim lang. So, usually, mga 6 to 7 months above na. Or better, mas later pa. But make sure lang you groom your, you groom yourself your chow-chow. Um, every day or every other day. Um, yeah, so, yun. Kasi pag masyadong maaga mong kinat, baka magtampo yung buhok. Okay, guys. Let's not do this to our chow chows. Let's make sure na, ano mo yun, fully, fully parang tumubo naman muna agad yung kanyang buhok. Last but not the least, number 10, giving them table food. Tayo, sa kakitan nila kapag kumakain tayo talaga namang feeling mo na pagka-patient pa nila tapos mm, mag-iiyak the moment binigyan mo ang isang asong umiiyak okay they will always remember that sinasabi sa inyo mahirap yan at eventually that little cry will turn into a park okay guys um, believe me, wala akong aso kong kilalang um, pinagbigyan at kinalimutan na lang. Dogs remember that. When you reward them with something that they want, they will always remember that and in their heads, they say, every time I cry or every time I bark, he or she, mommy or daddy, or kuya or ate, or lola, or lola, will always give me a treat. So we do not reward that kind of behavior. A barking dog, or a crying dog doesn't mean that they're hungry. It's their instincts. They're dogs. Malakas po ang um, nose, ang um, sense of smell ng ating mga dogs. So, huwag kayong magpapapudol sa makakitan ng mga puppies na yan. Okay guys? Stick to their meals. Stick to their routine. There you have it guys. Hopefully may natutunan naman kayo kay Mommy Nate. Make sure to put your questions below or comments because we will have our Q&A part 2 next week. So, I'll be shooting that with my husband again, si Daddy Don. So, there. Um, I'll see you again on my next vlog. Please do not forget to like and subscribe. Um, I'll see you.